Hi everybody, it's uh, Mike Putman. I'm at ACR 2024 in Washington, D.C. And I wanted to tell you about Abstract 0774, which reported the results of the Tapir study. This was a study that evaluated a really important question to me, which is how and when can I get people off of steroids? We know that in a lot of our diseases, lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, that last five milligrams is, uh, is, is a challenge. And in the context of inca associated vasculitis, and specifically granulomatosis with polyangiitis, or GPA that this study evaluated, uh, there's been an open question how and when we can try and get people off that last five. So this was a really interesting study. It was um, presented at the plenary session today. And they looked at a strategy, they randomized people to either taper off of five milligrams of prednisone. Um, patients had to be within the first year of an acute flare and they had to have started therapy. Um, or they had to continue prednisone five milligrams going forward. Very interesting study design. I love the randomization. They got 143 patients into this study. What did they find? In the people who tapered off that last five milligrams of prednisone, the rate of flares was 16% compared to the people in the, the, that continued prednisone where the rate of flares was 4%. So that's a relatively meaningful difference for rheumatologists. And I could see someone reading these data and say, oh, that's kind of bad, but there are some important caveats here. The first one is that the folks who are receiving rituximab for maintenance therapy, which I think is the standard of care, and that's what most of us are doing these days, actually didn't really experience much of a difference. So this, this uh, difference in flare rate seemed to be more pronounced over people who are getting other DMARD therapies. Now, the second one is that of those flares, the vast majority of them were considered non-severe. I think there was 93% were non-severe. So people might flare, but this isn't necessarily someone developing diffuse alveolar hemorrhage or glomerulonephritis. These are folks with things that you could probably manage with a quick bump of steroids. And then, of course, the last thing that I always talk about when I read these flare studies. So we said that we taper people off steroids and 16% flared, flip that around. That means 84% of people tapered successfully and would have been continuing steroids unnecessarily. So whenever you see a study like this, you have to ask yourself, what would my patient actually want? And I could see a lot of folks saying, you know, a 16% risk of flare if I taper off, um, that would be worth it to me to try to get off steroids. So I think a very useful and informative trial, one that informs mostly how I've been practicing already, although I will say that I've been a little sticky on that last five milligrams of steroid and tend to continue probably longer than I need to. So uh, great, great study, a uh, great start to the meeting. Um, hope you all enjoyed, uh, enjoyed hearing about it. Um, please continue to follow in uh, at Room Now for all of our coverage of the meeting.